I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 179th. Today I'm going to be stitching using my four in one machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching. I'll begin by using my four in one machine quilting ruler and stitching in the ditch all the way around to the outside of the block. From there, I'm going to mark two increments, one on the bottom of the block, that's one inch from the bottom right corner, and one inch on the left top of the block. From there, I'm going to use the curved side of my four in one machine quilting ruler and stitch a curved line from the bottom of the block to the top marked point. From the top marked point, I'm going to stitch up a quarter of an inch, so just enough so that the side of my ruler foot is right next to my previous stitch line. From there, I'm going to stitch a second curved echo line from the top back down to the bottom point. From that point, now I'm going to grab my four or my mark begone marker and I'm going to mark increments using a measuring tape at one inch all the way along that inside curved line. Now, if this measures on your block just a little bit over an even inch increment, then just slightly adjust. Your lines may need to be like an inch and an eighth or something like that. From there, once I've marked all those points, I'm going to begin stitching in the bottom left corner. Using the straight side of my four in one machine quilting ruler, I'll stitch a straight line from that bottom left corner over to the bottom marked point. When I get to that marked point, then I'm going to slowly turn and travel along that previous curved stitch line to the next marked point. From that marked point, I'll stitch back to the bottom left corner. I'll repeat this process, slowly stitching along my previous stitch line and then stitching back to the bottom corner with each of those marked points. Once I've done that, then I'll spritz away those marked lines and I've got a beautiful block design. Now this block is adorable as it is by itself, but you can imagine if you did this in four different blocks, put those together, the amazing secondary design that would really come to life. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.